Bitcoin prices are breaking down. After touching a peak of nearly 20,000 in December, most major exchanges today showed the cryptocurrency trading below 10,000, cutting its value in half from late last year. So what's behind this crypto crash? Seema Modi takes a look. Bitcoin continues to fall on growing concerns that China and South Korea, two of the largest Bitcoin markets, will ban residents from trading the cryptocurrency. The latest warning came from South Korea's finance minister, who said banning cryptocurrencies is an option on the table due to concerns over tax evasion. Further regulation is not being welcomed by all. Citizens in South Korea, over 200,000 of them, have signed an online petition asking the Korean government to not limit trading as they see value in cryptocurrencies. South Korea was one of the first countries to embrace digital currencies, and it currently accounts for a significant portion of trading volume in Bitcoin. Citizens writing, you may think you are protecting the public, but we citizens think that the government is stealing our dream. It's not just Asia that is trying to crack down on cryptocurrencies. France's finance minister says he's launching a special task force that will look into whether individuals are using cryptocurrencies for tax evasion, a topic that got attention here in the United States when the IRS ordered Coinbase, a widely used cryptocurrency trading platform, to turn in records for over 14,000 users who trade Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Concerns over tighter regulation has sent Bitcoin sharply lower. Just today, it wiped out $30 billion in market value. And other cryptocurrencies like Ripple, Ether and Litecoin are also under pressure. There is a fundamental tension between Bitcoin as an unregulated, government-less, seamless means of transaction and store of value, however you want to characterize it, and the idea that it should be regulated to be more effective. So I don't know how in the end those two are, are bridged. But given Bitcoin's massive 1,200 percent rise in 2017, some Bitcoin investors see the recent drop as a healthy correction. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Seema Modi.